Okay. Now we discuss about some of the retirement benefits. Pension being one of them. So pension is basically dealt with in section 17.1 subsection 2. But even before we uh, kind of look at what is pension, let's understand its meaning. What happens is, as a result of service, many a times the employer, in recognition of past services of an employee, or on retirement or maybe on the death of the employee, the employer agrees that, okay, I will make you a periodical payment from the time when you retire till the time you are alive or maybe for a particular number of years. This payment which is made by the employer to the employee is called pension. So pension basically is nothing but a periodical payment which is made by the employer to the employee as a recognition of his services. And this is normally payable after the retirement or the death of the employee. So suppose unfortunately some mishap happens and an employee dies. Then his family will become in a soup unless and until they have some other sources of income. So as a method of being gratuitous, just to provide a recognition that yes, this person was serving with us, many a time the employer pays pension. And in certain cases, even when you are working, a part of your salary is taken away by the employer as a contribution to certain pension funds, which after your retirement provides you pension. So in such a case, <coughs> where this pension is received from the employer, then it is taxable under the head income from salaries. So now if you see what happens is, we have three columns. The first one is who the employer is. Now the taxability of pension depends on who is the employer. I mean whether you are a government employer or you are a other employer which means non-government. Depending on which category you fall in, the pension may be taxable or it may be exempt. Now again on the right hand side, if you see the headings, basically these say uncommuted and commuted. Now the question which comes up is, what do you mean by uncommuted and commuted pension? Okay, what happens is that suppose, let's take an example. Suppose what happens is an employee retires from service and he is entitled to receive say 10,000 rupees per month as pension. Normally in such a case there can be two situations. An employee will have an option to receive this entire 10,000 till the time he is alive. Suppose this 10,000 was payable to him till the time till he is alive. Or he may say that, sir, I don't want this recurring payment. Please, instead of paying this to me for the rest of my life, pay me 10 lakh rupees. In such a case, what is said is that he has commuted his pension. So what he has done is, he has kind of encashed his entire money that he would have got and in lieu of that he's got this lump sum consideration. This is basically called the commutation of pension. Now he may commute the entire 10,000 or he may say, okay, pay me 5,000 rupees a month for the rest of my life and pay me 5 lakh. I forego a part of my pension. So this pension which he gets as lump sum is called the commuted pension. The regular pension which he gets is the uncommuted pension. The taxability of these two also differ. Let us see how the taxability is different.
So, where the employer is a government employer and you get uncommuted pension, then it is taxable. So, a monthly payout received by an employee from an employer by way of pension is fully taxable. That is taxable and true both in case of a government employee as well as others. So, in both these cases, the pension is However, if you commute your pension, you receive a lump sum amount from your employer, then if you are a government employee, that 10 lakh which we took in the example is not taxable in your hand. However, if you are not a government employee, then only one third of the total amount you receive, suppose you got 10 lakh, then one third of that amount, say 3 lakh 33 thousand, 333 where the gratuity is also received, else half of the value of the commuted pension. So, if I were to go back to my example here, suppose at the time of retirement, the employee was also getting gratuity. If he was getting gratuity, according to our law, one third is exempt, one third of 10 lakh, which is 3 lakh, 33,333 would have been exempt. But if he was not getting any gratuity, then half of this amount, which is 5 lakh, would have been exempt from tax. So, basically, depending on whether the employee is getting gratuity or not, the amount of exemption is determined. Now, this was true in respect of pension received by the employee himself. However, in the beginning I told you that the pension can also be received by the legal hire of the employee. In which case, it is not taxable under the head salary because there is no employer-employee relationship. That is taxable under the head income from other sources. However, standard deduction, if any, and what is the standard deduction where well, that we will see when we come to the chapter of deduction there is a separate video on that is allowed even from such income which is computed as income from other sources.